family home entertainment. From our family to yours, there's something special for everyone. At www.familyhomeent.com. Monkeys and apes are some of the cutest, craziest kids around. Want to meet some? Well, hang on. They're coming at you. Won't you come out and see? Baby Animal Tales for you. What a wonderful place to be. Baby Animal Tales for me. Take a look at this world we share. Baby Animal Tales to do. It's a wonderful world out there. Baby Animal Tales to see. There's monkeys and cats and whales. Baby Animals in the sea. Up in a tree is for me. Won't you come out and see? Baby animal tales for you. What a wonderful place to be. Baby animal tales for me. Take a look at this world we share. Baby animal tales for you. It's a wonderful world out there. Baby animal tales with Jake. Hi everyone, it's me, your old pal Jake. And welcome to one of the nicest places I know, my home. Well, okay, it's not just my home, because I live here with all kinds of farmyard friends, like cows, and horses, and goats, and ducks. Well, I hope you're ready for some great tales about baby monkeys and apes. Three of my littlest buddies are going to be joining us today. If I can just get them all rounded up. Hey, you puppies in there, come on out. Everybody's waiting. That's it. Come on, little doggies. I've got stories to tell and time's a wasting. Oops, oh, be careful now. That ramp's slippery. Okay, gang, let's go. We've got to find a nice shady spot for storytelling. How about over here? Oh, let's see. Oh, this looks pretty good. Ah, perfect. Now, oh, oh, hey, 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 no monkeying around. Come on, come on, over here. Come on, hey, off there, come on over here. Settle down, come on. Let's see, now that's Lucy, Scooter, and Ralphie. Good. Now, if you'll all sit tight and gather around, your old buddy Jake has a tale to tell. Just look in the trees and close your eyes and think monkeys. At the zoo, folks just love looking at the monkeys. There are all kinds of monkeys and apes, and they come in different colors, shapes, and sizes. Believe it or not, monkeys, apes, and people are a lot alike. That's because they're all part of the same animal family, so that means they have lots in common. For instance, monkeys, apes, and people all have two arms and two legs. Most have five fingers on each hand, too, not to mention those cute little fingernails. Now, dogs and puppies have claws. Monkeys, apes, and people also have thumbs they use when they pick stuff up. Dogs and other animals don't have thumbs. Even though you may think they're the same, apes and monkeys are actually different from each other. One easy way to tell the difference is that monkeys usually have tails. Apes don't. Now, monkey tails are a lot different from dog tails. Some are real strong and can wrap around things, just like an extra arm, which comes in mighty handy if you're climbing trees. I know I don't have a monkey-type tail, but I wonder if I could ever climb a tree. Hmm. Boy, look at all those branches. A dog could sure have fun running around up there. Maybe I could learn a thing or two from an ape who's a climbing expert, the chimpanzee. You know, I'm not the only one who thinks baby chimps are cute. Just ask their moms. They stay with their mothers for up to seven years. For animals, that's a long time. Chimp babies are a lot like human kids when it comes to the ways they feel and the faces they make. They giggle when you tickle them, and they cry when they're sad. And although they don't talk the way people do, they still manage to say what they have to. 
Chimps are really smart, too. They're one of the only animals that knows how to make and use tools. Chimps spend a lot of time with their families, cleaning each other. Yep, it keeps everyone happy and healthy. Plus, it's one of the ways chimps show how much they care for each other. And you get to eat anything you find. <laughs> hey, how'd you like to meet some of the chimp kids I know? Nothing beats fun with the family, especially when you're a baby chimp. Playing is good exercise and builds strong chimp muscles. Plus, it teaches everyone how to get along. But Mama's always nearby, just in case things get a little too rowdy. Hey, get your foot out of my face! Pee you! Oh, that's better. For a baby chimp, nothing beats lazing around with Mom. But there's always dozens of cousins, brothers, and sisters nearby, ready to play. Or, or pinch. Ow! Knock it off! <laughs> now, it may look like everyone's just goofing around, but play is serious business. It teaches chimp kids important skills they'll need as grown-ups. <laughs> it sure doesn't teach them how to stay clean, though. One favorite game looks a lot like King of the Hill, or in this case, King of the Tree. It's a fun way for chimp kids to see who's the strongest. After all, there's only room for one at the top. Ooh, get out of my way! Ooh, no! Ooh, ow! Ooh, cut out! Ooh, let me just get my little toe hold in here. Ooh, oh, wow! Ooh, let me just get up here. Ooh, I almost got it here. Mind if I grab your ear? Ooh, ow! Ooh, ow! Ooh, cut it out! Ooh. Well, so much for this king. Maybe he'll do better tomorrow. Oh, well, it's lunchtime anyway. Yum, yum, yum. And it's all the brown, gushy mush you can eat. Unlike dogs, chimps can eat all kinds of food. Fruits, leaves, bugs, even meat. <laughs> After lunch, it's time for a quick bug inspection. Nothing here, which means it's time for Junior's climbing lesson. Now, baby chimps are born climbers. Whoa! But they still have a lot to learn. It'll take years of practice until this little guy is ready to tackle the tallest treetops. Whoa! Whoa! Hang on! Well, it was a nice try anyway. Better luck next time. Hi, Mom. Aww. Hey, where did this grown-up get those excellent bananas? These guys can sure pack them away. Mm -hmm. Look at him eat. When it comes to his favorite snack, this guy has his hands full. Not to mention his feet. <laughs> Chimps have strong toes and thumbs that they can use to pick up stuff with. Just like an extra set of hands. Mm. blame this other guy for heading someplace where he can eat in peace. Look at this guy go. Chimps are so strong, they don't even need both hands to climb. Hey, Mom, wh where are you going? Afterwards, Mama Chimp takes her baby for a ride. She and the family are heading for a special treat. This guy sees where they're headed and decides to join the fun. <laughs> now, chimps can walk on two legs, but usually they walk on all fours, like dogs. But with a major difference, they curl the knuckles of their hands under and walk on those. 
Okay, everybody, let's go. No, 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 don't look back. Follow your folks. They gotta take you to someplace special. That's it. No, 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 don't look back. Follow them. Yeah, that's it. No, no, you follow them. Come on. Come on, you got it. That's it. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hold tight, Junior. Your mama's taking you to someplace cool. And she'll teach you an amazing trick to get you a treat that's even tastier than bananas. All right. All that walking, and they're here at last. Ah, peace and quiet, and what is that, a big pile of dirt? What's so special about that? Well, Junior doesn't seem to be getting too excited. But wait, just check out this guy with a pointy little twig there. Let's see. See? When he pulls it out, it's all covered with bugs. Mmm, mmm, well, I guess. <laughs> bugs aren't really my idea of a treat. But, hey, I'm not a chimp. He's having a good time. Now, using a stick to get bugs out of a hole is just one chimp trick. They also use leaves to sop up drinking water and rocks to crack open hard shells of nuts. Now that's what I call smart. Well, chimps may like bugs, bananas, and brown gushy mush, but give me kibble any day. Mm -mm. Uh, come on, guys. Chow time. A quick bite here. And it's on to another fascinating monkey, the baboon. Now, you can tell a baboon's a monkey because it has a tail. Baboons have funny faces. When they're young, they kind of look like old people. When they're older, their faces change. As adults, their cheeks can stretch out enough to store food in. Baboons sometimes climb trees or rocky cliffs for protection. But mostly, they stick to the ground, walking on all fours. From a distance, they almost look like, well, dogs. <laughs> like chimps, baboons live with their families. Of course, what with all the cousins, brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles, it can get pretty crowded. But no matter what, everyone always has a soft spot for the little ones. Even the grumpiest uncle or crankiest cousin loves to play with a baby baboon. Here, look, I'll show you. Meet my buddy, a baby baboon. And here's his mother, right behind him. Then again, his whole family is right behind him, along with that impala over there. Baboon families stick together, as many as a hundred living together at a time. When she's not looking for food, a baboon mother spends her time looking after her baby. It's a full-time job. Like all baby baboons, they just love to play. Wrestling and rolling around is good exercise. And it teaches baby baboons how to get along with each other. Now it's getting late in the day. Like the others, Mama's looking forward to finding a nice tree somewhere and getting some shut-eye. Of course, lots of animals are thinking the same thing, like this leopard. Now, baboons and leopards don't get along too well, so it could be trouble for the baboons, although between the two animals, nobody ever really wants to pick a fight. It's been a long day in the hot sun, and everyone wants to hit the hay. The whole family starts heading for their favorite tree. This leopard's got a sleeping tree all picked out. Now it's just a short climb to a perfect place for rest and relaxation. Okay, Junior, we're here. But wait, the whole...
whole family is in for a nasty surprise. Cause look who's here. Yep, wouldn't you know it, the leopard picked the same tree that the baboons like. Oh, they're not gonna be too pleased about this. The news spreads. Their favorite sleeping tree is taken. The grown-up baboons don't like what they're seeing one little bit. But what can they do? Hmm, let's see now. There are a whole bunch of baboons and only one leopard. Still, leopards are excellent hunters and strong fighters. Is it worth taking this one on? Hmm, maybe she'll just leave. <sighs> nope, it doesn't look like she's planning on going anywhere. Yeah, the baboon babies, of course, hardly notice. To them, their games are just as important as any old leopard. Gotcha, last. Oh, no tag that. Ah, my turn. Stop that. Oh. The baboons finally decide to scare the big cat away. Now, leopards are powerful animals, but baboons are good fighters, too, with strong arms and sharp teeth. They're one of the few animals willing to take on a leopard. Besides, would you want to take on a whole family of cranky baboons? Well, that does it for this leopard. It's just not worth it. She probably wouldn't have gotten any sleep here anyway, with all those baboons bouncing around. As the sun sets, everyone rests in their favorite tree. Well, almost everyone. Some baboon babies just want to play and play. Oh, hey, just look at these puppies. I bet I know what they're thinking. If those baboons can do it, so can a dog. Oh, no. Now they're expecting me to climb as well as a baboon. Oh, what did I get myself into here? Well, well let's see now, guys. I, and they're telling me it should be easy. Um, but I don't know. It sure is a tall tree. Maybe if I stand on my hind legs? Oh, that's a start. Come let me show you something. You're in for a surprise There's something really special About being way up high Just sitting on some branches And munching on some leaves There's really nothing better Than hanging in the trees The forest is a special place You can always find a friendly face this is true, I'd love to show you Come on up here, and we'll play up in the treetops Reaching so high, that we seem to touch the sky We'll climb with the monkeys, and buzz with the bees Everything's wonderful love in the trees Let's climb a tree together Just look what you can see We can see from miles Up here in the trees The forest is a special place you always find a friendly face This is true I'd love to show you Come on up here And we'll play up in the treetops Reaching so high That we seem to touch the sky We'll climb with the monkeys And buzz with the bees Everything's wonderful up in the trees Everything's alright You're safe here with me Everything's wonderful up in the trees Just sitting on some
some branches and munching on some leaves. You must admit it's better up here in the trees. Okay, I think maybe I'm starting to figure it out. See if I can just get up onto that branch there, something like, eh, I don't know. Maybe I don't climb like a chimp, huh? Maybe I climb more like a gorilla. Gorillas are the biggest apes in the world. They're so heavy, they can't hang out in trees too long the way chimps do. The branches would break. Even baby gorillas are heavy. Newborns can't hold on to their mom's hair the way baby chimps can. And they sure grow up fast. A baby gorilla can start climbing when it's six months old. At that age, a human baby can't even stand. Gorillas sometimes beat their chest to look tough, but they're really shy and gentle. They don't even eat meat, just leaves and fruit. And if you ever meet a gorilla face to face, ooh, don't stare. Just like people, gorillas think staring is awfully rude. Well, let's meet some of the gentlest animals I know, a family of gorillas. Oh, they're all a bunch of real characters. Mm -mm. Now this one's trying hard to make friends. Only I don't think this beetle is too interested. Gorillas slap their chest to look big and strong, but I don't think it's gonna work here. Babies learn things like chest slapping from their fathers, like this silverback. He's called that because of the big band of silver hair around his middle. Because it's so big, a full-grown gorilla can really put away leaves and fruit, up to 60 pounds a day. To give you an idea, that's about what a human kid or a really big dog weighs. Whoa! Like all baby animals, this gorilla is just full of curiosity. They're still learning about the world around them, what's safe and what's not. Ooh, like that yellow-backed diker over there. Is it safe? Ooh, who knows? But I guess a diker is no reason to stop eating lunch. Mama decides it's time for a nap. So they head off for a nice, comfortable spot. Lots of animals like nothing better than a long nap after a big meal. That's because they're too full to run around. I know the feeling. <laughs> of course, no kid ever really likes taking a nap. No matter how hard her mother tries to get her to sleep, this baby gorilla just can't lie still. One by one, the grown-ups start to wake up. Everything's nice and quiet. Ooh, well, almost. Hey, what's that noise? Oh no, be you, Dad, gross! Well, that's what you get from eating all those raw vegetables. Hey, watch it. I'm telling you, it was Dad, not me. Dad thinks it's time for some fresh air. What's that noise? Oh, it's Dad in a tree. Looks like those branches can hardly hold him up. Gorilla see, gorilla do. 
Like most animals, apes and monkeys learn how to do things by watching their parents and then practicing over and over again. Hey, look! I get it! I get it! Hooray! <laughs> Oops! Gorillas live in a jungle that's just chock full of strange neighbors. Like this big old elephant. Gorillas and elephants often eat similar kinds of vegetables. But other than that, they don't have a lot in common. So they usually stay out of each other's way. Bye-bye, Mr. Elephant. Oh, well, let's give the big guy a hand anyway. Beetles, dikers, elephants, and that's only in one day. Who knows who they'll meet tomorrow? Hey, how would you three like to be apes or monkeys? You're always monkeying around. Man, come to think of it, it could be pretty neat to be a monkey. Did you know that monkeys really like warm weather? Even though a few monkeys live where it's cold and snowy, most like places that are cozy and warm. Monkeys are clever and full of tricks. Whenever they see anything new and different, why, they just pick it up and try to take it apart with their little hands. Monkeys are good tree climbers, too, and can go way up high. Some monkeys can even hold onto branches with their tails. Like kids, monkey babies like to make faces at each other when they're playing. Like people, most monkeys like to sleep at night and run around during the day. But for some monkeys, it's the other way around. As you've guessed by now, there are all kinds of monkeys all over the world, in different shapes and sizes, and they live in all different kinds of places, too. This lake, for instance, is a popular drinking fountain for monkeys like this capuchin and her baby. The reason she's so nervous is that deep inside this lake lives a hungry alligator. Okay, the coast is clear. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh, look out! Oh, forget it. I guess nobody was that thirsty after all. Hey, get a load of this cute little fella with that great big nose. He's called a proboscis monkey. Proboscis is just a fancy word for nose. Lots of monkey babies look a lot different than their moms, like these two. But as the babies get older, they change color until they look the same as their moms. His mom prefers a piece of fruit instead. Uh-oh, what's that coming through those branches? Is it a lion? <gasps> Fooled you, it's actually a monkey. It's called a black lion tamarind. Can you guess why? That's right! Like a real lion, it has a mane. Wow! This guy sure has energy. Believe it or not, even though they all look different, this is a family of monkeys. And here's the baby. Doesn't he look like a little old man? I bet he looks even funnier than your little brother. Everyone in the family is a terrific athlete. Look at these guys go! Wow! I'm getting tired just watching them. 
See how their home looks like a gigantic jungle gym? No wonder everyone's so strong. All they do is exercise. Wow, what a life it must be up in the treetops. It sure sounds fun, just monkeying around. <laughs> Let's go into the jungle. I'll be a monkey's uncle. Why don't we monkey around? Come up and play with us. Fun games for all of us. Way up here off the ground. Why don't we monkey around? First we can swing from vines. And then on these we'll dine. Why don't we monkey around? We'll play with all our might. Then we'll sleep in trees tonight. Way up here off the ground. Why don't we monkey One more try. I'm really getting better at this, guys. I really am. All I have to do is jump up a little higher, and if I just had oh, a nice, strong pair of hands, I'd be doing a lot better. Um, hey, guys, you know, one of the most amazing tree climbers of all has a really great pair of hands. You can bet he doesn't have to jump up and down like this. Oh, oh, no. oh. One of the coolest apes around is called the orangutan. Orangutan means wild man of the woods. And with that big pot belly and crazy orange hairdo, you can see why. Unlike gorillas and chimps, orangutans don't hang out in big family groups. It's usually just a mom and her baby, always on the lookout for their favorite food, fresh fruit. A baby orangutan lives with its mother for seven or eight years. Orangutans grow up to be pretty big. A grown-up male weighs about as much as a human dad. But unlike gorillas, they're still able to climb around in trees. As a matter of fact, that's where they spend most of their time, even sleeping in nests that they make every night. Orangutans are amazingly strong, and their arms are so long they can scratch their own ankles without even bending over. Deep in the jungle, way up high in a tree, lives a baby orangutan with her mother and their friend. <coughs> tree life is great. The best part is hitching a ride. Like all orangutans, these two have hook-shaped hands that are perfect for climbing trees or for holding onto your mom. But wait a minute. What's this? Hey, that's weird. What's he doing here? 
Mama's a little worried. She can see what he's carrying. <gasps> it looks like some kind of weapon. Her baby's too busy climbing to even notice. What's he looking for anyway? Or could it be target practice? Mama is definitely nervous. She doesn't like the look of this. She's going to get away from there. And sure enough, The orangutan still can't figure it out. <laughs> Even Dad shows up to check it out. What's going on around here, anyway? Oh, boy, this guy sure could use some climbing lessons. What is he doing? Pictures? Oh, I get it. He's a nature photographer. Well, now that changes everything. Whoa, watch it there, buddy. Dad says, let me show you how well I can climb. And boy, can he climb. Mom gets into the act, too. <laughs> Say cheese, everyone. Mm. Look what Mom's found. A canteen full of water, which gives her an idea. Hey, no fair! <laughs> well, you can't say this guy didn't deserve it. That's what you get for going around scaring folks. It's not from a canteen, but it sure tastes good anyway. Nothing beats a delicious bowl of water. That is, before Ralphie fell in. Come on over and meet some more orangutan friends. These orangutans have human friends who live nearby. And when they come to the jungle, it's like a big party. Orangutans start showing up from all over. It's more like a picnic than a party. These men have brought buckets of food and drink for everyone. That's because a lot of these orangutan kids are orphans. That means they don't have parents to take care of them. But luckily, they do have good human friends. People make sure that these orangutan orphans always have enough to eat and drink. And that means buckets and buckets of milk. And a whole bunch of bananas. Ah, good to the last drop. Mmm, delicious. Nobody even minds what a mess they are, cause licking it off later is half the fun. <laughs> Oh, all right. I think I got it. If I just dig my claws in and pull... Oh, I guess I should just leave all this climbing business to monkeys. 
Hey, where'd everybody go? Oh, would you look at that? Oh, I guess everyone got tired of waiting for me to finish climbing that dumb old tree. <laughs> well, come to think of it, oh, maybe it is time for a nap. We can always have more stories later, when I'm better rested. So, take care, everybody. We'll see you again for more Baby Animal Tales real soon. Won't you come out and see Baby Animal Tales for you What a wonderful place to be Baby Animal Tales for me Take a look at this world we share Baby Animal Tales to do Some eel and nest is the best Up in a tree is for me Won't you come out and see Baby Animal Tales for you What a wonderful place to be Baby Animal Tales for me Take a look at this world we share Baby Animal Tales to do it's a wonderful world out there Family Home Entertainment From our family to yours There's something special for everyone At www.familyhomeent.com